Hi, and welcome to my video about how to have perfect morning hair. And what I mean by this is, let's say you go to bed and you're having a really good hair day and you think, okay, I'd really love to carry this into tomorrow. I have a secret for you. It's doable and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it happen. And it's quick and it's easy. Just a quick reminder if you haven't done so already to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like waking up with good hair and not bedhead. And while I'm demoing this for you in a video, you can also read about it on my website at melissamaker.com and I'll put a link for you down below. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about are the tools that you need. You need a good hairbrush, ideally one that has some boar bristles, which is really good at distributing your natural hair oils the second thing you need are these hair clips. These are little alligator hair clips. I got these on Amazon, but you can actually get them at beauty supply stores as well. So the first thing that you're going to do is brush your hair out really well. So start at the top of your hair and work your way down to the bottom. Using that boar bristle brush, it's really gonna help distribute your natural oils because one of the things that happens when you sleep is that your hair just becomes more oily and then you wake up and your hair is a little bit greasier in the a.m. and of course a little bit flatter. So by doing this, you're really distributing those oils before you go to bed. The next thing you're gonna do is give your scalp a little bit of a finger massage. And I learned this trick from a hairdresser and it feels great and it's also great at just pumping up a little bit of volume in your hair. Again, this is gonna help not flatten out your hair while you're sleeping. So just take your fingers and almost like you're shampooing, just work your fingers around your scalp in a circular pattern. It feels really great, it stimulates your scalp and it also helps bring in a little bit of volume. Now that that's done, you're just gonna take your hair at the nape of your neck and start to twist it. I know what you're thinking. If your hair is straight, you don't really want to twist it because it's going to come out twisty and weird in the morning. Well, no, it's not. It might look like that for a couple of minutes after you wake up, but once the natural bend works itself out, it'll be nice and straight. And if you have wavy hair like I do, it's even better because you twist your hair up, you clip it twice, once at the top, once at the bottom, and then you wake up in the morning and as though you're in a hair commercial, you just take out those clips, shake out your hair, give it a little bit of a ruffle with your fingers, and you have perfect morning hair. And if for whatever reason you notice it's a little bit flat, then you can break out the dry shampoo and give your scalp a little bit of a spritz and then massage that in with your fingers. If you need to, you can run a brush through it, but I often find I don't even need to brush my hair in the morning because I brushed it the night before and then I slept with it clipped up. Now, if you're curious about the clips and if they bother you while you're sleeping, not really. You might feel it for the first you know, few minutes while you're trying to fall asleep, but once you're sleeping, you really don't notice it. And these clips are so strong, they stay in place all night. I'd love to know in the comments down below, how long do you spend on average doing your hair each day? because this tip can actually save you so much time in the morning. So just think about it. Let me know that number in the comments. For me, if I'm actually washing my hair and styling it in the morning, I'm investing a good 45 minutes. So this tip really helps. If you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to my channel. And you can also check out these two videos right over here that you might find helpful as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.